Another concern rising tonight as the temperatures fall outside. Frostbite is a real threat for anyone spending time outside, and we're already seeing some cases across the metro. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson is joining us live to explain. Brian? Yeah, the University of Kansas Hospital has already seen at least two adults. They are currently treating for severe frostbite. Now, the hospital is one of a handful of hospitals in the country using a new treatment. Rather than having to amputate perhaps a full foot or a full hand, they can save everything but perhaps part of a toe or two. Now, prevention is key here. They say it doesn't take very long to get frostbite, and so you want to make sure you keep those times short when you're outdoors. The health of the individual is also a factor. If you're in good health, it will be less severe, unless perhaps like if you have diabetes or other health issues, the frostbite could be more severe. Now, frostbite occurs after people come indoors sometimes if you have wet feet or wet shoes or wet socks, and so you need to change those clothes. Dr. Korentager says it's a good idea for kids to have two pairs of waterproof gloves. That way, after a hot chocolate, when the kids are going back out again, they don't have to have cold, wet gloves, but can have warm, dry ones. If they've had some frostbite injuries, when they go back out after warming up a little bit, that second injury is much more severe. Now, the injuries are cumulative, so if you get a little frostbite on your cheek, you want to be really careful heading out the second time because that will be that much more sensitive. The doctor also recommends kids have waterproof boots and that the pants go over those boots to keep the water out, keeping your feet and toes warm. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News.